The Saskia Art Images Collection is available from the library's website. And once you've gained access to this collection by clicking on the resource, you will um, be able to search through all the various images available in this collection. If you find that you are not able to search through this collection from off campus, you may need to come up and click the Browse Collection from Off Campus button. That will make sure that you're authenticated as a Lincoln Land uh, student, and it will make sure that you have access to this collection. The Saskia Art Images Collection includes 34,000 digital images. They feature art history and humanities topics across Western and Eastern civilizations. It covers the collections of 100 museums, inclu including the Louvre, Musée d'Orsay, Uffizi, and many others. What you're able to do within this collection is both search through a basic search, this one search box you see on the main page, or you can click on advanced search here to the right, and it will provide you with additional search boxes in which to search. You can also narrow your search by the creator. So here we have several different artists represent, represented here, Goya, uh, Van Dyck, uh, Bernini, etc. You have current location or the repository. So these will be different museums. So here we have the Prado and here we have the Louvre. There are 2,216 items from the Louvre that are represented in this collection. The date of creation, broken down by centuries, or these are essentially come from the items that have form this collection, they've been tagged with a particular date of creation, and those will be in that listing, or the style of the period. So if you're looking for Northern Baroque or 19th century, 20th century, you'll be able to select that item, and it should take you to that portion of the collection that features items from, in this case, Northern Baroque. Here we have uh, 20 items displayed. I can always change that to increase the number I can view on a single uh, page. It'll show me a bunch of thumbnails. I navigate just like you would on any other sort of web page like this, where you have pages to the right, and that will change as I view more results at a time, those number of pages available will decrease. I can scroll through these. Again, I can always search by a particular keyword if I'm looking for a particular artist or um, some sort of um, image, known image that I'm looking for, then you can do that. Let's just take a look at one of these, a you know, child with a bird, for instance. It will tell me the artist. It will provide me with, when I click on it, it'll provide me with a visual of that particular work. And then I can always click the plus sign to zoom in on this work to have a better view of it. I'm really interested in zooming in. Let me get really focused up in there. It's going to zoom in as much as possible. These are Pretty good resolution images here, so I can get a good sense of what that bird's looking like. Maybe I have a curiosity about the different color overlays that were used in this painting process, or I wanna get a good image of the curls. And then down below, you'll see that these, these images are described by title, type, uh, so you know, genre, there's a painting or a architecture, things like that. It's measurements, materials that were used, lots of other images uh, uh, image of information that you can uh, access from here. There's also a, a full resolution. This was the actual file that was used to create this image on this uh, collection. It's a really fun collection to look through. It's great for art students, uh, especially those who are in art history who need to have some examples of works that they've been discussing in class. And so play around with it, have some fun. If you have any questions about this or other online resources through the library, don't hesitate to contact one of your librarians. We're always happy to help. Thanks a lot.